God damn it. I can't. Ah, damn it. Um. Shit. Come on, really? Ugh. All right. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Hey guys, Seafar here, and welcome back to the final series on Ark Survival Evolved. So last episode, we started up a farm here, and we also got ourselves some carbos. Uh, the carbos are going to be used to getting ourselves some regular kibble. Uh, now, between episodes, I've been doing a little bit of work here, basically, because I really don't know what to do. I'm still trying to figure it out, honestly. Um, I put in a couple of compost bins just so we can start getting fertilizer. Uh, this is the only crop that's basically at middling right now, and this is the rock carrot. So we have rock carrots here, rock carrots here. Uh, Savarood here, Savarood here, and both of these are still seedlings. Uh, Citronol here, Citronol here, same thing, seedlings. And then finally, we have long grass here, and long grass here for seedlings. And then in the back here, in the small, um, crop plots, we basically have ourselves some narco berries, narco berries, narco berries, narco berries. Personally, I don't know what to put back there. I was gonna do, like, Tinto... Azul, like all four of the basic ones, but at the same time, like we, we don't really use them, so it would be more decorative specifically. So I wanted to use it for functionality as opposed to decorative. Um, here's what I want to do today because, yes, I do want to do a couple things. I'm still trying to figure it out, honestly, along the way here because I feel like what's holding me back is the fact that we are not level 51 yet and we don't have cryopods. I think once we have cryopods, we could start thinking about even leaving Vardaland at this point. I mean, we've covered pretty much all of this map, or at least all of this area. This is the place that I want to be, at least for right now. But I feel like we do need to start exploring other areas. That gives us other options for dino teams and stuff. Because right now, if I tame something on the mainland, I, I can't get it back here. <laughs> like, it's just not going to happen. So having access to cryopods is just going to help us so much more. So that being said... I think we're going to start out this episode with a little bit of a Explorer Note run or Runestone run, whatever you call it. Um, but I also want to do some experimenting, too. So another thing, too, is uh, before starting off the episode, I actually went around and started to grab some loot drops and stuff. And personally, I was hoping that that was going to give me some inspiration for today's episode. And it only made me more confused. <laughs> <laughs> so let's have a quick look at the stuff that I got. So pretty much we got a Carbo Saddle, Galley Saddle, Iguanodon Saddle, another Capro Saddle, uh, Packy Rhino Saddle, Packy Saddle, uh, a Raptor Saddle, 27 Armor, um, and I think we also got this, a Journeyman Pelagornis. This might have been, nope, this was from a previous drop. I think that was in a previous episode. Um, yeah, I was really hoping for like a Carno Saddle or something that I could say, all right, solidified, let's go for that. Now it's only got me more confused. Now, we did get a couple of normal just um, it, it, saddles specifically, so we got ourselves a Dodicarus Saddle, cool, but at the same time, we still need a Cryo to get this guy home. Uh, we got a Manta Saddle, cool, not really looking to do underwater too, too much right now. We do have the Carbos. We got a Ravager Saddle, which is great, but in order for them to be really good, you need a pack, and I kind of talked about that already. And then the Stego 2, good. It's good on its own. It's just slow as hell. So again, still don't know what to do for taming-wise, but um, we're going to look over the Engrams and stuff like that and see what we can unlock, because there are a couple things while we're kind of going around for Explorer Notes, or the Runestones, actually, um... I do want to pick up a few things along the way, because here's the thing. I'm not going to unlock saddles yet, because I think it's going to be based on what we see out in the world. The biggest thing I think we need to unlock, though, is the harpoon launcher, which will be a ton of points, and then the net projectile. So on this adventure, if we can come across maybe some cementing paste, which I know where there's beaver dams, the problem is the beavers are going to come after us, basically. And if we can come across some obsidian, I think everything else, maybe a little bit of polymer too, honestly, I think everything else we pretty much have covered at that point. Um, I was going to say there might be a few more things that we can unlock, but we kind of just used all of our engram points. So I guess well, I guess we've already committed, let's put it that way. So, I'm pretty sure to... Oh, you know what I just realized? You have to make the net... You have to make the net gun in the fabricator, don't you? Oh, no, it's the smithy. Oh, thank God. <laughs> 
that would have stunk. But guys, if you find yourself enjoying this episode, take a second, make sure to smash that like button. You guys have been killing it on these videos, so let's keep that momentum going. If you guys find yourself enjoying this series, if you guys are excited for the brand new Supercut that literally just came out, um, I say literally, it's obviously a couple days past, but... At the time of recording, you guys, Supercut Wise will come out in the next hour. Um, if you guys are enjoying that, if you guys are enjoying the series overall, you guys are enjoying me ranting, raving the whole nine, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. So let's get started here. Let's start grabbing some runestones. Now, guys, this isn't something that traditionally I like to do. I just feel like at this point... Once we do get to level 51, it's just going to make life a little bit easier for us. Now, I'm not going to abuse it or anything. If we find like two or three, I'll be happy. There is an experiment that I want to do, which could traditionally and technically mean that once we get this explorer note, we could be losing it right away, honestly. And you guys will see what I mean in a little bit. Um, I don't know where these runestones are. I know there's a million of them, but I know there's an area with two specifically by themselves. I would like to get those after the... Ooh, monkey. What level are you? 20. Haven't found a really high level foo or anything yet. It's kind of crazy. Um, oh, level 20, Carno. I know exactly where we're going to go for the first runestone. Um, this is one that's been kind of eyeing us for the last couple episodes. I just realized on the top of this little cliff here, there is a explorer. To oh my god, look at all that metal too. <gasps> hey, the metal's starting to respawn. Interesting. Ooh, there's a lot of metal there. Is that a lot of metal? No, nah, not really. Um, I didn't realize it was metal up here either. That's actually kind of cool. I do want to get this explorer note, though. I keep calling it explorer note, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Runestone. You know what I mean? Let me have a sip of coffee before. I'm going to blame it on the lack of coffee this morning. Okay. Let's have that. All right, so we have 600 second timer. We could continuously stack that if we want, but I do want to do an experiment right now. What if you head over to one of the other realms? Will you lose your buff? Let's have a quick look. We're going to head over to Asgard. I feel like it's going to be the easiest one to work with, and we can pretty much just get right out, basically. It's just a quick test. We always go north, so let's just go there. We'll land. We'll see if the Explorer note's still going. If it is, cool. We'll come back. If it's not, Cool, we'll come back. We're coming back regardless. We're not spending today on Asgard. As much as I do want to get those Andrews Arcuses, and I do feel like we need to do that probably in the next episode. Heck, we might be doing it in today's episode, honestly, because I do need time for all those crops to grow. So I guess we might be coming back over to Asgard. I don't know. Let's see if the Explorer buff is still... It looks like it's still there. Interesting. Okay. And you still have yours. Interesting. Can I fly you in here? I can, because you're a glider, not a flyer. Ooh, okay. So, that changes things. I know exactly what I'm going to do then. Okay. So, let's go back home. Let's go back home. <laughs> uh, Vardalan South East puts us right by base. So let's do that. We're going to start collecting more Explorer notes. Like I said, once we get to about level 51, maybe we're going to collect only like two or three, honestly. And then I have an idea because, guys, the Dire Wolf pack and the Raptor pack, I don't know how much longer we're going to be using them for. They're good on Asgard. They're good on Asgard. That's the only place they're good for because there's no trees. I mean, obviously, there's trees right here, but most of the time, no trees, no rocks, nothing. So... We may take him out for a little spin on Asgard. I'm completely, <laughs> completely going against what I actually was just saying. Um, but that's fine. That's fine. That's what the series is all about. Just trying to figure it out while we're recording. Not having anything planned. Just seeing what happens. So, um, we're going to ride the coast here a little bit. I don't remember which side it is. Honestly, it actually could be the mainland now that I think about it. Um, now, I'm pretty sure it's here. Where is the Desmodus Cave? Because it's right by there. It's not the Desmodus Cave, but it's right by there. It's this little corner, I think. Is it this corner? No. It's not this corner, no. There's one of the corners I can't remember, but it has two Explorer notes, essentially, on it. Two runestones. 
Explorer runes. Um, it's got two of them basically right there. So I want to grab those as quickly as possible. That should give us a level at least. Because again, these things are going to start stacking. So the levels are going to go quick. <clears throat> but yeah, instead of going around and getting like 50 Explorer notes and whatever. Oh my god. I'm just committed. Let's Explorer notes for today's episode, guys. Hopefully you understand. Um, I want to go out and maybe we're going to take just... I think it's more fun just going out on a bit of a killing spree. So maybe we'll do that, but got to get a couple of these guys first. Now, where are the others? Uh, there we go. There's the two. I was going to say, this is really funny. This is actually like the perfect spot to somehow spawn in. I don't know how you would do it. This is where we are on the map, roughly. Like, we are literally in the corner. Uh, two Explorer notes pretty much right next to each other. <laughs> kind of crazy. So let's get this guy. All right, so we're at 7 out of 200 rune stones. We've gotten ourselves a level. And that should be the next one. Eight. There we go. Did I get a two levels? Oh my god, I did. <laughs> All right, so we are level 50. We need to be level 51. So I think at this point, we have 1540. Like, I could probably just go back and... No, no, no. We'll get one more explorer note. And then I think we'll head back. But I do need to, like I said, I do need to start getting some obsidian and some polymer. Um, I know two spots that have that, actually. I don't know how much we need. I think it's 50 obsidian. Am I correct in saying that? I think I am. There might be an explorer note down there or a runestone. But I think we're going to skip the rest of them. There are like two or three right in this spot, but I don't want to get those just yet. We'll get those at some point. I also want to do I also want to do a um, runestone run on our eventual new fluffs, the one that you guys are actually going to give a name for eventually, um, because I want to get levels on the good stuff. I don't want to get level on these like duds and stuff like that. Not to say that fluffs is a dud. It's just fluffs doesn't have the perfect stats. You know what I mean? So I think you guys know what I mean. Um, where is now? There is one of the rocks over here that has obsidian on it. I remember this from the first time playing this. And there's probably a million spots that have obsidian, honestly. This is just... It's the area that I remember the most. Uh, okay, where was our old base? Old base was pretty much right over there. Okay. Which means it was this direction. Yeah, I think that's the rock right there. Uh, this could be the rock. That's not the rock. Here it is. Perfect. All right, let's get a little bit of obsidian. Like I said, I believe we need 50, so I'm going to get 60. Because I usually can't remember the actual amounts. Fifty-six, not good enough just in case. You know what, we'll get like 70. That's perfect, 80, perfect. All right, we'll get rid of you. Ooh, we did get a compost bin though, that's good. We'll hold on to that. That was from the green drop. Okay. We need to get Polly now. Uh, Polly, unfortunately, is going to be kind of interesting. Some some of you guys might not like it. Um, I could care less. But there are penguins over here. Yeah. Sorry, guys. This is how the game's designed. <laughs> it is what it is. Oh my god, 300 damage. The problem is I just literally threw a couple of them in the water. Oh, it's only eight. Give him. Really? Only eight organic polymer? <laughs> How much do we need? I feel like I probably don't want to be wasting the runestone doing this. So we can always come back for the poly. Yeah, let's do that. Let's head back to base. At least we know where Polly is. There's a ton of penguins over here. We can bring the, uh, bring a direwolf over here. I'm not going to do the entire pack. But yeah, let's get back to base. If there's one more runestone on the way, maybe I'll want to grab that. I just don't know where it's going to... Oh, wait, I know exactly where it is. We just passed one. There's one on top of one of these... Snowy peaks or something, right? Is it you? Nope, 
There it is. I see it. It's right there. I feel like there was another one, but I guess maybe this is it. All right, so this should get us to level 51. And we are going to put that into weight again. So we are level 51 at this point we have. Let's have a quick look. This should have given us access to cryopods. That's really the biggest thing that I was worried about. Yeah, cryo. Yes, thylacolio saddle. I know, guys, I know. We're not doing it yet. <laughs> Believe me, there's a lot of work that's going to need to be done for thylas. Uh, thylas, you can't get a perfect tame unless we use kibble. So we got a while for thylas. I would love to get a thyla right now, but not going to happen. Not going to happen. So let's head back to base. I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to head over to Asgard again. Um... You know what, if we're heading over to Asgard, it probably makes sense just to grab the honey. Just in case, you know. I know we're going there just on a killing spree, but I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt. It's only 1-150 one at this point, it's not 2. So yeah, it, it might make sense just to go ahead, get ourselves a ton of honey, bring it over there, and go from there. The problem is the spoil time on honey, that's right. They don't stack. Oh, that's going to be a bit of an issue. I totally forgot about that, right? And I don't know if the best way is using a pick or using an axe. All right, that's 30. They don't stack, do they? No, they don't. Shoot. Okay. 30. I, don't know, I guess we'll break this one, then we'll go. There we go. And what I'll do is I'll probably throw... No, I'll probably, I don't know. How much, how much time do we have with these? We got 50 minutes. Oh boy, okay. And I don't want to put it in Fluff's inventory because I have a feeling Fluff's is going to eat it. So we won't do that, but maybe when we head over to Asgard, we'll go ahead and throw them maybe on one of the dire wolves or something. That'll be the idea. But yeah, I think instead of going around and grabbing Explorer Notes, because right now, obviously, I mean, we could start going insane with Explorer Notes and Rune Stones and all that crazy stuff. But um, I think heading over to Asgard and just going ahead and just having these guys destroy as much as they can could also be as equally fun. Um, at the same time, too, I do feel like that we need to start killing stuff over there with the hopes that an R Equus is going to finally appear. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. But let's get our direwolf pack. Um, let's put away the compost bin. We don't need that. Is there anything else on you? No, I do want to get myself some arrows and stuff just in case. And I do want to get myself some carrots just in case. Doesn't hurt to have them. We got 14 left. That's fine. We'll throw all that stuff on the dire wolf. Let's get these guys kind of moved out of the way. Because if I send them over now, um, they'll be a bit of a problem. So let's head back over this way. And let's head over to Asgard. Oh wow, okay, so Bee Honey gets a increased spoil timer on their inventory in their inventory. Okay, sweet. So we have three hours really to work with. That's a little bit better. I was a bit worried about the 45 minutes. Um, but I think we're okay now. So let's head on over. Now, uh Realm Teleportation, Asgard, North, let's go. This will bring us to the same spot that we were literally just at before. Alright, everyone's here. Everyone is here. Cool. Okay, let's go. Now, like I said, we're pretty much here for a little bit of XP and stuff like that, so we're not going to worry about this area. I want to go back to the area where Equuses tend to be, and we're just going to start destroying everything in the area. Everything. So, um, typically Equuses spawn on the other side of this bridge. We're going to start there and just start killing everything in sight, basically. And the hope is that eventually, once dinos start respawning in, an Equus or two does come along. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but obviously with this honey too, we do have to think about possibly getting the Andrew Sarkis. I think that's going to be something to do in today's episode too. I think maybe what we're going to do is we're going to destroy this area first. Once it's completely empty, then we'll go ahead and um, head over, get the Andrew Sarkis, maybe come back kind of thing. All right, send him in. Sit. 
Send them in. It is unfortunate, I will say, because these Parasaurs, some of them are like really, really high level ones. Not that one, but there is like a 145, 150. I think it's this group here. <clears throat> Alright, I didn't know if he was going to square up and fight. I, I was going to say, I doubt it, but... Alright, sorry. You're the 150. Oh, you're the 145. Okay. That means you're the 150. You're not the 150. Alright, whatever. I'm going to stop guessing at this point. I just realized I'm killing a 145 Dodicarus. Well, I got a level. <laughs> All right, this area is pretty much destroyed. Um, there's nothing else here, really. There is the Maywing. All we got to do is just hit it, though. I'm going to put everyone on passive for a second so they don't start chasing after it. Oh, or I could just kill it. That's cool, too. See if I can do the same with you. Nope. All right. That's pretty much everything out of the area at this point. Uh, there is a Moshups. Uh, sorry, buddy. But yeah, I don't know if Equuses spawn everywhere here on Asgard. I just feel like this area near the Obelisk is really just where... You can find just a ton of them. Go in, guys. So yeah, that's why we're just going through. We're gonna get rid of everything. The hope is on the way back uh, with the Androsarchus, hopefully, that there'll be an Equus or two starting to spawn in. So we'll see what happens. But we do have a couple of more things to kill up here. We got a Mammoth, we got a couple of Kentros. Kentros will be interesting, actually. Just because of the... Really? Thank you. Just because that they do damage to you as you hit them. Uh, we got an Ardeodon down here. Level 55. Or 50. I don't know. One of them. Send them down. Oh, you know what I realized? We need cementing paste. I'm stuck. Come on, target the damn thing. <laughs> Go over there. All right, gimme, 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 throw, 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 throw. Any beavers coming? Yes. Got a couple, actually. All right. I think we could raid the rest of these. I think we're okay. I guess we'll see what happens, though, right? You know what? Depending on how many rare mushroom you need to tame yourself a uh, Procoptodon, that might be a thing. I guess you could use Kibble, though, for Procoptodon, too. I just don't know which tier they take. But yeah, that's a ton of cementing paste, so I think we're good in that department, honestly. Um, but yeah, I guess we're just going to keep going on. We're going to keep killing. We're going to keep working our way towards the Andrew Sarkis. Um, we're going to have to kill everything around the Andrew Sarkis too, because it's just an absolute pain having stuff in the area with them. So that's a female 145. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Um, that actually isn't a good thing because that might mean that this area, let's say 145 per cop that on. 145 per Cool. Um, that's not the best thing to see because that means this area might have all respawned. Or we could have a 150 and a 145. 
I don't see the light colored one. That's the problem. I see the 15 though, which is weird. Oh no, tell me the 150 despawned. Kind of strange when this kind of thing happens that certain dinos despawn, certain ones don't. So I guess we're trading down to a 145 female. I'm going to keep looking around, though, just in case, but it it sure looks like it. Oh, man. Damn, that would have been perfect. We would add a 145 and a 150. That's a 15. Okay, so that's the one I want right now. I'm just going to put you over here because I don't know how far I need to go. I'm going to grab... You know what? Let's throw everything on you and then grab the honey. I don't know how many I'm going to need, so we'll just do five. I know I have to kill everything in the area. Like, that would be the best way to do... Ooh, b -b 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 -b. You know what? Wait, why are you following? Oh, because I do on passive, not... Okay. The problem's going to be that what if it runs into the other ones? That's the one I want, the 15. Uh, you take honey, you put it in the last slot, you do that. And it should go towards it. So we're going to wait a second here. Eat. Run. Run up. Okay, and now it's minigame. That's not good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. He's not chasing after me. No, good. Okay. Let's also have a little bit of water. We have a Rex in the area. That's not good. Now, I don't know how long until the next feed has to be. Crap. Can I pick you up? I can't. Maybe I can. Maybe you're okay. Okay. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I know how to do it. I'm just going to continue this taming and everything. It's a level 15. It's not going to take long. We should be able to do it in this one. But yeah, I kind of remember the minigame now. And there we go, it's ours. Okay, so did it get a perfect team? I'm not even sure. What level is this guy? 22. Plus 10 levels, so it might have gotten a perfect team? I don't know. I don't think it got per I don't think it got 10 levels anyways. Wait, why are you doing that? Oh, that's right. That's that weird bug that it kicks you off and everything. Oh, okay. So we got a buff because we tamed ourselves an Andrew Sarkis. The first Andrew Sarkis. Gotcha. That's right. I like your colors, though, honestly. So you know what? I'm not going to complain that you're here. All right. We're going to go for the 145 female. Uh, first things first, we got to get rid of everything else first. And then, you know what? The Andrew Sarkis can get involved, too. I could care less. If it dies, it dies. We gotta get rid of that Rex also. So let's go, guys. Let's see if I got a couple levels. Oh my god, I got two levels. <laughs> uh, let's keep doing weight. So we're at level 53. Yeah, Rex has to go first. And then everything else will slowly start taking out. What is that right there? Is that an actual Ovis that the Rex didn't eat? That is. There we go. All right, let's go in. Let's get the Rex. Now, there are a couple of Andrew Sarkises over here. 90. 130 male. Okay. All right, all right. Really hoping to see a 150, but I guess not. <laughs> I'm still pushing for it, guys. I'm still pushing for it. That's the male. Um, I feel like we should probably get rid of it. Along with this Bronto, along with the everything else, basically. Everything's got to go. So, let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you.
our Andrew Sarkis might die at some point. That's okay. All right, go for him, guys. That is the 130, but we need to get rid of everything in the area. Uh, and then what level are you? When you're the 45. All right. Kind of weird that the dire wolves are doing this. Oh, there we go. Okay. Really? All right, get rid of that 45. What level are you? You're a 20 and you're a 60. Okay. So we'll get rid of you guys and then we'll go for the 145. By the way, where's the 145? It's you. Okay. You look nice, too. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Really excited about that. Hopefully, we can actually get that as a perfect team, but we'll see. I think it's going to be a little tough. I'm not great at the minigame. I mean, we we don't have to... We could take... Oh, that was a... What was that that fell off the mountain? Oh, a Pteranodon. Okay. We could take a million years. Like, we don't have to do it, like... Real quick. Oh, wow. Our Andrew Sarkis is busted up. Again, it's a 15, though, so. Yep, there we go. All right, that's fine. It was bound to happen. All right. We learned how to tame. I don't think there's anything else in the area as a threat. Ooh, there's another Andrew Sarkis. Why did I not see you? 90. Okay. Um, I think you're far enough away that I don't have to worry about you. So let's go back. Let's put them up there. Um, and now we're going to go for this 145. Now, before we do that, though, might be a good idea to put down some beds. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah. I want to keep this Procopted on here, too, because if we can potentially come back and tame it, that would be great. Um, I don't think I have enough mushrooms and stuff, and we certainly cannot catch up to it. Uh, what do I need for a bed? I need fiber and hide. Okay. So we already have hide. I mean, we've went on a complete killing spree. So let's gather some fiber. And I want to make a couple. I want to make like five sleeping bags because I'm going to take my time with this. Because I feel like if you just knock yourself off at any time, it's okay. It doesn't like penalize you. It's just... It's going to take longer to tame, you know what I mean? So maybe that's a good option so the taming effectiveness doesn't drop, if that makes sense. It might make sense. I don't know if it makes sense, but let's get a little bit of hide out here. We got plenty, 190. I can make at least five. Let's go make five. Bring them up here. Get rid of Mr. Argent. Please don't hit the Procopted on, that's all I ask. Alright, that's fine. Alright, bed number one, bed number two, bed number three, bed number four, bed number five. I do, I do admit, <laughs> we are totally wasting these Explorer notes and stuff like that. I know that. Um, I think it's just something that I want today. I think it's just, I don't know. I feel like because the 150 is now gone... It's almost like we need to get this 145. Like, we need to get this done. Okay, so you stay there. Let's see if we can get this thing. Because who knows? Maybe the next time we come over here, the Procoptodon's gonna be gone. The Andrew Sarkis is gonna be gone, you know? Here's my other thing, though. Is everything gonna start respawning it? You better be the 145. You are. Thank God. I was gonna say, like, I literally... Oh, no. They're starting to spawn back. 50 and 20. Okay. All right. All right, all right, all right, fine. There we go. Okay. So, loop around this way. Eat. And let the taming process begin. All right, I know we were kind of getting close to the bar and everything, so I'm just going to play it safe. Uh, 99.5, so we're still at a quote-unquote perfect tame. 72 levels, 99.4. I need to make sure I reach him and nothing else. Or her. There's so many Andrew Sarkises out here now. What the hell? Alright, eat. Let's go. It's at 98. I get... 
why would that be such a pet? Mm. We were at 99.4. Is it because I jumped off early? Like, I don't know. I guess we're just doomed to never get a perfect aim on this thing. Is there a better way to do this? Like, is there? I don't. I don't know. I guess jumping off early is a bit of a penalty. I am running. It should not be chasing after me. Okay, I thought I heard a noise. But yeah, why are we all the way down to 98.8 now? I don't get it. All right, well, we're getting this 145, so. Let's throw it there. They're actually staying away, which is nice. That was real close. I shouldn't have cut it that close. <laughs> All right, but we're doing okay. Um, I think the highest you can get is 72 levels. It is currently down one level only. That's not bad. Okay. Is that going to be close? Is that going to be close enough? Oh, come on, buddy. Shit. <laughs> All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. You know what? That other honey, it might go for eventually, too. You know what? I wonder if that's the way to do it. You literally just clear a field, throw down, like, 50 honey. I think we'll be able to do it with the amount of honey that we have left. I mean, we have a lot of honey left over. But... Okay, it's eating. Let's go. I feel like the bad meter just fills up so quickly, though. Like, I feel like as I'm doing the correct things, the the meter is still filling up. All right, so the Maywing just started running from something. Sabers. Is it coming closer? It is. Shit. Okay. Let's get rid of the Saber. Unless... Come on, Maywing. You know what? I think we're okay. Oh, I dropped, like, literally right next to the other one, too. Okay. All right. I think we're okay. I think this will be the final feed, though. If I can get you over here... Shit. That's the problem. I, I keep throwing them out. <laughs> Of course, that one's going to go for it. I don't need that. I need you over here. Uh, just get on. Okay. Hey, we got one. Sweet. Uh, we lost three levels on it. That's okay. But how are your stats? 5760 in health, 1320 stam, 840 in weight, and 293 melee. Yeah, their weight is really good at 840. Oh my god. All right, let's have a little bit of food too. Let's take a look at the ones in the area now. So that's a 90. Because we ended up having like so many respawn back in. 20. 85. Ugh, stupid bug thing that it kicks you off. Um, 25. And there's one behind you, because there was two of them. 20 and 50. All right, so they're all bad. So we got to get rid of all of them. But I think what we're going to do is... I, I don't know. I think these guys are pretty good. I feel like... How do you do that slide thing? It's like that cool little slide you can do with this guy. I don't know how to do it. I'll have to figure it out. It's been a minute since I've actually used one of these, so I got to figure out what the mechanics are with this guy again. Um... We're going to leave you up here. Because I do need to go out and get rid of everyone else. You guys are all following the dire wolf. Let's go. Let's clear out the pack. Oh my god, we have like so many more Andrew Sarkis's <laughs> Uh It's never ending. 145 male. 90. 140 female. Oh, shit. Are we going to be here all day? I think we are. Um... 
I think we're okay. I think we're fine, actually. I don't think I need to go ahead and kill any. I think if we run down there, we'll try to get the 145. Um, I don't feel like you're going to be a problem. Uh, you know what? You know what? You know what? Kill it. All right, but yeah, we're gonna go for this 145. Um, be kind of cool if we can actually get a bread pair, basically, and maybe we'll go for the 140 also. So we'll have a total of three Andrew Sarkises. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. But at this point, let's go ahead and I got a decent amount of giant bee honey on me. Uh, let's go throw down a few more. Uh, maybe even more than that, just in case. I don't know how long this is gonna take. We are gonna get penalized, so we might as well try to do. We might as well try to go for as long as possible, basically, before the timer runs out. Because we're going to get penalized anyway, so might as well just try to get this done. 145 mil. There we go. And you're kind of by yourself. I know it's only temporary. There's going to be so much shit coming around here, but let's get this started. Possibly getting a 145. Not as big of a fan of your colors, but that's okay. I waited till literally the last second to jump off on that. Oh my god. That was way too close for comfort. We did get a good portion of the team, though, done. I think it was like 15% or something right off the bat, which is actually pretty good. Nah, damn it. Yeah, we're dead. All right, I'm going to run towards it. It's going to kill me anyways, so... Yeah, that taming effectiveness just tanked. Shit. I jumped off earlier. What the hell? Why did it kick me? That shouldn't have happened. And that just dropped taming effectiveness, didn't it? Wait, what? Oh, no, that's ours. Okay, so we ended up only getting 94.3 on that one. So we're actually doing better so far on this mail. I don't get it. I, I genuinely don't get it. We're going to end up having the same taming effectiveness. That's insane. I can't. Ah, damn it. Shit. Throw down honey. Throw down honey. Maybe that'll work. It's not. It's it's not. Am I somehow outrunning it? No, I'm not. Okay. Yeah, just kill me. <sighs> well, that's why I made five sleeping bags. The sad part is, it's right when I say that we're going to do this one better is when I just really royally fuck it up. Oh, my God. All right. I'm wondering if it's better. I feel like what kind of throws me off is the fact that I have to stare at a bar at the bottom. And I feel like if the bar... And I know this is going to sound really... St oh, my God. The saber hit the Andrew Sarkis that we're trying to tame. Well, that's it. We're not getting it. I mean, that taming effectiveness is done. I mean, it's going to die because it's not able to hit the friggin' saber. Oh, my God. That saber came back to kill. Fuck everything up. Oh, my God. Well, I guess it's a good thing at the same time. Yeah, that's our 145, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. Yay. All right. Uh, what about you guys? 50? 15. Uh. All right, I know we got plenty of honey left over. I think I'm just done with Andrew Sarkis taming for now. <laughs> it does take a while, honestly. Um, Can he actually, like, hit him? Like, is he going to die? He's going to die. Hey, he actually got his health back and everything. Woo, and it doesn't mean anything because taming effectiveness is 93.4 and we are back down to 0%. Yeah, F, F that. Um... Should we go ahead and try to kill it so then it just spawns something else? I think that's what we're going to do. I think that makes the most sense. Yeah, I feel like that's probably the best thing we can do here. Let's go ahead. Let's kill it. Because, again, it's never going to be a good tame at this point. So, yeah, we might as well kill it and have something else spawn in. Go, guys. Have fun. Oh. 
and my dire wolf is so <laughs> worn down here. Oh my god. Um, what is it? Like, is it, uh, it's probably the sleeping bags, really? I mean, it's 30 weight, yeah, I guess, but... Is there anything else on you that's, like, really heavy? You know what, we can throw everything on the Andrew Circus. Now, are you gonna eat my giant bee honey? That's the question. You're eating something. You're probably eating the honey. Alright, that's one of those. Let's go. At least we can move now. All right, that's the 135, and it's pretty much all alone. We do have a couple actually over here now. 50 and 50. 140 Sego. I thought it was a 140 uh, Andrew Sarkis, I was going to say. Uh, let me double check these guys before we go again. Uh, 20. Then light colored one is a 90. Okay, so no. Let's get it started here. Okay, they're not going to aggro or anything, so... 135 male, here we go. But yeah, kind of like I, what I was saying before, I wish the taming bar was just higher so I can watch the actual Andrew Sarkis movements because I think that's a little bit easier for me than looking at arrows. But at the same time, I have to keep looking down for a second to watch this little stupid taming bar. <laughs> to make sure I'm not going to get knocked off or anything, like, right about now. So let's jump and go. Um, shit. Come on, really? Ugh, all right. Let's just move further out. The good news is that'll actually uh, get our drink back up. All right, I'm good right here. Just kill me right here. Let's go. Thank you. The good news is... The 90 killed me. Does that potentially mean that our Andrew Sarkis has not been affected? Because it wasn't mine that got spooked. It might have not affected it. That's kind of cool. Okay. Shit. Honey doesn't help, right? No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, damn. I will say, I'm actually really surprised none of my armor has broke or anything yet. Um, Alright, so he should aggro to that. But we are pretty close at this point. I think we're at about 80%. So, yeah, not too bad. We're actually on par with the other teams, too, surprisingly. So... We'll see how this goes. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Where did that come from? Well, that's it. We're not getting him. Yep, nope, it keeps going down, and that is done. Okay. <laughs> Guys, we are heading home. I don't know where that guy came from, honestly. I ran through this field. There was nothing. Um, really surprised by that, but... Ugh. Ah! <laughs> ah, home sweet home. Uh, but yeah, guys, we got basically everyone back to base here. Uh, we got ourselves an Andrew Sarkis today. Uh, I I'm done. <laughs> I'm tired. Andrew Sarkis taming takes a while. It is a bit frustrating, but at the same time, this is going to be a really good creature for us. Um, the good news is we don't actually have to go over to Asgard to get ourselves some Andrew Sarkises. Uh, they're actually here on Vardaland too. So maybe at the beginning of the next episode, we'll try and go out and get a mail. Um, but guys, at this point, we are level 55. So let's kind of have a look and see um, what we can unlock, at least what we can kind of start working on, what we can work start working towards. Um... Let's have a quick look here. So, a Margasaur saddle. No, uh, we can't even get him on this map, which is good. Uh, bunk beds. Cool. Canteen. Nice. Um, GPS would be cool. I already unlocked the cryo, but yeah, that's kind of it. I mean, it just gives us more points to use towards like the fabricator, the generator. Like we're getting to that point too, where we're going to have to start upgrading in that department. I'm still a little bit lost on what dino to use, but I think we have a pretty good one in the Andrew Sarkis. But I think next episode is going to be possibly trying to get ourselves a male Andrew Sarkis so we could start breeding. Um, and then also, too, we're going to start looking at cryopods because at this point, we're past level 51. We can get this stuff. So 
I think that's where we're going to wrap up the episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. And on top of that, if you're enjoying the art content, um, you're enjoying the series so far, you're enjoying hearing me and seeing me struggle, take a second and hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm hmm.